we stop our writing down the f of x plus h so f of x plus h i feel better after being outside that was kind of fun was minus <laughs> what's that it was hot, it was hot really yeah. where were you standing <laughs> oh in the sun no i stood under a, a large tree with uh no i'm kidding <laughs> flowers <laughs> so first step is to is to uh no, I, st I stayed out of the sun because i'll just burn um, so just to write that down. Then you replace all of the x's with x plus h's. That's what you do with this one. So it'll be square root x plus h plus 7 minus, right, so that's just replacing the x with x plus h, right? That's this. This is this. Okay, this is this. Okay, and then minus, and then f of x is square root x plus 7. What's missing? What's, what's missing? The H, yeah, very common mistake. And look what I always do. I always mess up. I put my equal sign up too high. I always have a, no matter how many times I do this, I always have to do this. It's really bad. Just no matter how many, I've done this like a hundred times maybe, and still. <clears throat> so we're here. So, so we still can't plug in. Hey, Nicholas. Hey, all right. Um, does anyone know what to do next? What do we? Multiply by the conjugate. Very good. Um, Aaron. Oh, that's, you're Aaron. Okay, I was like, because oh. <laughs> you, you, never mind. Okay, you emailed me. I'm like, oh, this guy, who's this guy? Like, who's Aaron? And I thought he was Aaron, but that's, that doesn't matter. Okay. So multiply by the conjugate. <laughs> so square root x plus h plus 7 plus square root x plus 7 over, and then the same thing, right? Because you're, you're basically multiplying by 1 in a really clever way. So square root x plus h plus 7 plus square root x plus 7. So we're here. So we're here. So very important technique. We did this earlier too when we were taking limits. Uh, I think it was 1.3. I think we did this. So this might come up multiple times on the exam. Uh, I think it's one of the test topics too. Uh, find limits by rationalizing. Uh, so so that's, that's, this is like two test questions. It's awesome. It's so good. This is equal to, there is a formula, right? This is a minus b, a plus b, and that's going to be equal to a squared minus b squared. Good. It's a difference of squares, right? Super useful. So basically, you just square this piece so the square root goes away. So just x plus h plus 7. And then minus, and then you square this piece so it goes away. So parentheses x plus 7. I have a really bad habit of messing up here. I've messed up here before. So you have the h. I've forgotten this piece. It's happened to me when I take the test. Because I take the test with you, right? Because I have to, because I need the answers. Um, so x plus h. So one mistake I make when, sometimes when I'm rushing through the test is I forget this part. So now I'm like kind of aware of it because I've made that mistake, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we're here. I, I think at this point um, we can distribute the negative one and stuff will go away, right? So, so I think I can skip a step, right? So x's cancel, seven's cancel, so we just have h. And you can skip multiple steps. I'll, I won't skip too many. I'll plus square root x plus 7, so we're, we're here, we're here. It's good stuff, it's good, good mathematics. And we didn't lose too much time with the fire drill. Okay, maybe we did, but it's okay. It's all right, it's all right, it's, good. it's life. Could have been a real fire, or it could have been worse, so. What do we do next? What, what cancels? The H's. the H's, yeah, the H's, gone, game over. So this is equal to, well no, not game over, that's good. So one over, and we have this, square root x plus h, plus 7 plus square root x plus 7. So we are here. We've arrived at this piece here. This is the slope of the secant line, right? That's all this is, right? It's called the difference quotient, right? It's not the derivative yet, right? It's not the derivative yet. Any questions on anything so far? Um, no, no questions. I mean, this is it, right? This is the last day um, before the first test. No, no pressure. Just, you know, I'm hyping it up. Shouldn't do that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. What do we do next? What do we do? Take the limit, yeah, f prime of x. Yeah, take the limit, right? Let's be really pro, f prime of x. F prime of x is the limit of that. 
right, the limit of, of the slope of this secant line. So limit as h approaches 0. And then we have this, so 1 over square root x plus h plus 7, and then plus square root x plus 7. It's just a formality. Just don't forget to write the f prime, the equals, the limit. Um, the most common mistake on this question is people mess up with the limits. Like, they'll write the limit at the beginning, and then they'll stop writing it. If you do that, I have to take off some points because it's wrong, right? Once you write the limit, you have to write it every time. So the way we're doing it is to not write the limit, and then at the very end, you write the limit, okay? Now you plug in the zero, and now when you plug it in, do you write it? No, right? Okay, it's really important. Um, so you get square root x plus 7 plus square root x plus 7, right? Because this is 0. So you have one of these plus one of these that gives you two of those. So it's just 1 over 2 square root x plus 7. And that would be the derivative, right? Because it's like blah plus blah is 2 blah. Right, that's how I think of it. I don't, I don't think of blah though, I just think of that thing. This thing plus this thing is two of that thing. Mm -hmm. 